deep in here with some juicy celebrity stories from GossipDavid.com is David Kaplan. Yay! I like the name of your web website, it's, Gossip David. It's to the point, to right? To the point. It works. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Good. All right, so let's talk about... <laughs> You asked, right? I, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, celebrity couple is uh, reuniting? Kamora Lee Simmons and Jimon Hansu. Okay. We're fans. So this is what happened. They, so first of all, they separated in November. Wait, wait they weren't married. No, they were for five years. Yeah, they ended up. So they were for five That's years. That's not what I was told from Hot Topics. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they were. But after five years, yeah, they were for five years together. They, they were separating. So then this past weekend, they were caught together at Disneyland in California. Did they have kids. They have, yeah, they have a son, Kenzo, yeah, together. Right. So they were Disneyland, California, and they were photographed kissing and cuddling oh, okay. with all the kids. So it's kind oh, of on. Oh, there's a picture, yeah. Look at that. Aww. It's amazing, right? Yeah. And there's photos of them kissing. So. I love this crowd. They're such, they're, they love, yeah, they love it. No, they're into it. But look, we talked about them when they separated. And I was telling you guys through Hot Topics, you know, after much research, they were boyfriend, girlfriend, yeah. and co parenting, you know, the, the boy, but they weren't married. I think they did a commitment ceremony. Okay, that's did, not married. Okay, sorry, sorry. They did I, a ceremony. Ring <laughs> on it. All papers right. on you. Divorce. <laughs> ring. That's not Muddy the Waters of marriage. <laughs> I, they up the ante above dating. But yeah, so a lot of people are not surprised about them being together because sources are saying that when they were together, he was really good for her. He sort of tamed Kimora a little bit. Yeah. And that they were really good for each other. And yeah. he was a great dad to her kids with Russell Simmons. And he's a great dad to their own son. Do you remember she was doing drive-bys with that uh, Russian boxer, that big, tall man? Yes. That I thought they were a stunning couple together. Vladimir Klitschko, that huge, huge guy. He's yeah. very tall. They went to a party together, him and Kimora, in December, yeah. but that seems to be very brief. Yeah. He's already back with Hayden Panettiere. Is he? He is. So it's all about Kamara. <laughs> Looks and like Jima. his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, good for them, though. I always root for love. Um, now let's talk about Ashton Kutcher and uh, Mila Kunis yes, moving okay. overseas. Well, according to the London Sun, Ashton is planning to move permanently to London with Mila, and they're there because Mila is going to be shooting a film for at least six months. He's finished filming that Steve Jobs film, and according to this report from the London Sun, they're really into it because Ashton feels like if they're overseas, they can sort of get away from more of the sort of the paparazzi in L.A. Are you out of your mind? Oh, I agree. We're getting to that. Okay, go, okay, yeah, go. Yeah, no, no, no. That's what the London Sun claims, and it's like the British press is more crazier vicious. than they are vicious than they are here, right? So they apparently were looking at this really ritzy neighborhood in London. Their neighbors would be Kate Moss, Kate Hudson, very celeb friendly. But I spoke last night to one of my Mila sources who said the story is not true. The story is made up, oh. and they are not house hunting in London. He's oh. going to visit her, of course. They're dating. Yes. It's on. But you know, don't you think that the studio Mila is going to put her up in is the, like the the apartment the studio is going to put her in is going to be nicer than what they could find? So they don't need to buy a house. No, together. it's going to be fabulous. And besides, he's going to get back here to, to start the new season of Two and a Half Men. That show is still on TV. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but cute, <laughs> cute, cute story though. It was fun, right? Um, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, it seems. Uh, uh, by the way, have the families ever met each other? Yeah, you know it's crazy. Mila was actually in Iowa visiting Ashton's parents over the holidays, and they went to Red Lobster together. They had all you well, can that eat. That seals the deal. All you can eat crab and, legs and the Cheddar Bay biscuits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, moving moving along. Um, um, Adele. Adele. And her father. And the baby, what is going on? So, as we all know, Adele has a newborn son, but you have cotton mouth. Take I a do. Sip. Can you yes. tell, right? Yes, of You're course. You're getting me all excited about it's this. It's okay. This is this is your first time here. Your presentation is good. So far, so good. Okay. All right. Okay. I want to see a ten from the Russian judge or something. <laughs> Yeah, so Adele's father, Mark Evans, he's spoken out saying he's heartbroken that That's Adele. His father? Yeah. Her father? That's the guy. Wow. So Handsome. He, so he's saying he's heartbroken because Adele is not letting him see her new um, newborn son. He wants to see his grandson. And this all stems from the fact that the dad, he walked out on Adele and her mom when she was three. They've had very little contact um, until sort of recently. But what happened is a year ago, he sold a story. Of course. To, of course, right? They always do that, they estranged parents, to a British tabloid. And in the interview, he basically said Adele's man problems and relationship problems stem from the fact that they had a bad relationship. Adele was furious. She said, why, you know, he shouldn't be speaking to the press about our relationship together. We're not going to see our baby until you and I get our thing together. And that's the way that goes. Yeah, no.
Right? Yeah, no, no. And she says, you know, and she's been so violent about it. She said she's done with him. And you know what she said? If she sees him, she's going to spit in his face. Ooh. So she means business, right? Oh. And he still is saying he's tried to have a meeting with her through her manager's radio silence. Yeah. He said all he wants to do is sort of do typical granddad things like. No, you don't. You want to get back <laughs> in your famous wealthy daughter's life, cat daddy. So no family reunion there. Not until Adele says so. When it's good for her, it's good for me. No, for sure. You did a wonderful job today, darling. Here, David. Thank you. Yes. For more juicy celebrity stories, go to GossipDavid.com. Up next, everybody, it's the very handsome Malik Yoba. Keep it here.